Here with Captain Nolan Stevens just after the NCAA tournament selection show. Nolan, this is the second time in your time at Northeastern that you've been able to be a part of this selection show. What are some of the emotions that kind of go along with entering the national tournament? You know, it's really exciting. Uh, I think you work all year and, you know, all season to get to this point and, you know, we're happy that it's here and, you know, I think the tournament's kind of another level of intensity and it's, you know, every team's good. So we just got to be prepared and make sure we're physically and mentally ready. What are you looking forward to about playing a team like Michigan and also being close to home in Worcester? Yeah, I mean, obviously you can tell from the room, uh, we're really excited to be playing close to home and, you know, hopefully a lot of our fans and, you know, alumni can make it out to the game and, you know, playing a team like Michigan, they got a lot of history and, you know, um, you know, it's a great program, so we're excited for the challenge. What are you proud of about this team that you've been able to kind of be a part of the development over the season? You know, it's been pretty cool. I mean, we had, uh, we had kind of write our own story this year and, you know, kind of create a little history for our program and make a couple steps to, you know, get to the level of, you know, the Michigans and, you know, the other programs and trying to, you know, get to that level of ex ex excellence. So, um, you know, I'm just happy to be a part of the, uh, the growth and, you know, something special. Coach Madigan, this year's tournament invitation was an at-large bid, um, so that kind of speaks to what the rest of the season looked like. How does that really reflect on what you were able to accomplish this year? You know, we talk about all season long about, uh, you know, having a good year and, you know, and you're, you're judged on your body of work. And, uh, you know, that's why we're in the tournament. Our body of work was really good. We were consistent from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. Uh, certainly we wanted to win Hockey East. Um, we didn't. Uh, we, we, our kids competed uh, and lost a tough overtime game on Friday night. But because of that body of work, uh, that shows more than just the one tough loss. And, you know, this year we're, uh, you know, a nine seed. And, you know, two years ago when we won Hockey East, I think we were a 13 seed. So uh, it's nice that your body work gets recognized, and that's what happened here. So it's a tribute to our young men and our coaching staff you know, for having a good season now Now that you're positioned and for the term, now you've got to take advantage of the opportunity. Now the team is seated against Michigan in the first round. Both teams had overtime losses in their last game, so they'll both be hungry heading into the tournament. What are you expecting to see from this matchup? You know, they're a well-coached team, and you know, Coach Mel Pearson is the first year at at, uh, at Michigan, he'd been at Michigan as an assistant prior to that and uh, for a long time. And, uh, you know, he'd come off as being the head coach at Michigan Tech where he took his teams to the tournament. So he, he's their team is well balanced. They're well coached. Um, they play, they're good in all three areas, defensively, neutral zone and defense in the offensive zone. They've got good special teams. You know, so it's going to be a competitive game. They play fast. They've got some skill and they've got some toughness and grit back there. So it's a good matchup. Uh, the game, I think it's going to be a good game. Um, and, you know, anytime you can play a Big Ten opponent uh, and, a, and a brand like Michigan, you know, our, your team's going to get excited. We're excited to play a good quality team like Michigan. And it's nice to play them in our backyard. But at the same time, we also know that, uh, hey, they've played on the road into, in some tough buildings during the course of this year and they've had success. So, you know, we're going to have to bring our top game to be able to, to beat them on, uh, on Saturday night. What do you think this week is going to look like for the team as you prepare for that exciting weekend in Worcester? We anticipate, you know, an exciting week of practice. I mean, well, there, it'll be a business-like approach, um, you know. But you know, this time of the year, your guys are focused. We, you know, you don't really have to grab their attention. You know, there's enough at stake here to grab their attention. Uh, so we'll have some upbeat practices. You know, we'll, you, you know, this time of the year, you're, you're not practicing a long, a long time. You know, we'll go 45, 50, you know, maybe 55 minutes, uh, and touch on all the areas of our game and. Just just continuing to fine tune our game for for Saturday. We'll we'll go through some systems and some tendencies that you know the mission goes through. But at the end of the day, we're going to focus on our game and what we do well, and continue to you know, try and execute those systems even that much better as we as we get ready for Saturday. You know, I keep on telling our guys, hey, we we're not a finished product yet. There's still opportunities for our team to grow and get better, and that's what we're going to try and do this week. Thanks, Coach. Good luck this weekend. I appreciate it. Thank you. Be sure to follow the Huskies this week as they head into the tournament to face Michigan on Saturday, March 24th.